I started at Fieldings as an apprentice at the age of 16 in 1963, and I worked there until 1970. Uh, all the lads in my intake, I think there was about 20 of us, I'd never met before in my life, um, but they turned out not to be too bad a bunch. Um, I was from Chooksbury. There was nobody else from Chooksbury that I was aware of. There were quite a few from the Forest of Dean, um, but it was mainly Gloucester, our intake, yes. I think the first thing, we were measured up for a pair of overalls. I think we were issued with two pairs, and we had to buy our own toe tectors, I think, in those days. Um, and, and we were shown round. That was, that was more or less the first day. But um, from then on, there's a lot, obviously a lot of machines in the apprentice school, and there were vices. Um, these are vices that you put things into, not the other sort of vice. And um, although there might have been some of those as well. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we were, we were introduced to lathes, planing machines, milling machines, and on the vice, where you, you had a vice on a bench... Um, you were given a block of mild steel, which I think was something like two inches square, or cubed, shouldn't I say, and you had to hammer and chisel and file and scrape it down to a very accurate, was it inch and a half? I can't remember the dimensions, but it's approximately that. Um, so you, you started off with a hammer and chisel, and the first thing you learnt is how not to hit your hand with a one and a half pound hammer, because it hurt. Um, my block, actually, uh, I do remember that Bert Ravenhill uh, decided that he needed a bit of mild steel to make something one day, pinched my block, and machined it up. And I thought I'd keep that for posterity, but I didn't, didn't actually get my hands on it. <laughs> well, attached to the machine shop in the apprentice school, we, we had a classroom. Um, and the wooden desks, they're, they're, they're larger than you would have in school, because we were bigger than school kids by then. Um, so they're literally desks with benches, and I am at the front giving a presentation to my fellow apprentices. This was actually part of our training, um, how to talk to um, groups of people, which actually proved invaluable in, in later life when uh, I started having to do that for real. Um, so it was it again it was good training we each had to get up and give a little speech um, so they were trying to give us an all-round uh, experience I suppose in the back of the photo there is um, a cross-section of part of and I think it's an h3 pump it it could be anyway it's that type of thing because uh, feelings we had, not only did we build the presses but very often we built all our own valves and pumps the whole thing so there was a valve shop, um, and uh, we, we, most of the kit was actually built in-house. And that's a cross-section, obviously, for training us apprentices um, in how things went together and how they worked. Uh, obviously a very useful display. But quite quickly, to be honest, we were on production. So we'd have um, lathes and we'd have components to machine up, and we very quickly learned the skills, how to produce components that were then actually put into the machines that the, the company were building. Basically, you, you were working just as hard as the lads down in the light machine shop, which was just below the um, apprentice school. You were working just as hard as them um, and on production. Uh, I'm not complaining about this. It was a very good training. 